Hey what's up guys, this is Scott for Snipe 5 here. I got this review unit from Aki, so I'll be providing you my honest and unbiased review later in this video, but right now I'm just going to do the unboxing. This is a sports armband specifically designed for the iPhone 6 and 6S, but hopefully it will also fit my iPhone 5S and other size smartphones. So here's just a quick look at the packaging. I believe this retails about $15 currently on Amazon, as usual the link will be in the description for you guys to check it out if you, this interests you guys. So here's just a look at the back, there's really nothing crazy going around here so let me just go ahead and unbox this. Okay, you already saw that. And here's the actual armband. So that's it for the unboxing portion of this video, let's go ahead and get into the review. Alright, so I've been using this every time I've been going out for a run. Now, I'm not really much of a runner, but I do like to have this to carry my phone and listen to my music when I do run. So, this is my very first sports armband I've ever used and tested. So, this review would be from the standpoint of somebody who has just used a sports armband. So, this sports armband is meant to be try to be more compatible than just one so it has the slots for the headphone jack on the same side which means whichever side that is located for you it should be able to find its way through the case so you insert it through here and then on the strap itself it has a little location that you can put earphones in it's velcroed down just like the rest of the strap and then looking at the rest of the strap, it's made out of the same little soft, cushiony material. And it can go through two slots, either A or B. So the A slot, of course, will allow you to put it around if you have skinnier arms. And the B slot is for wider arms, but you can actually pull through both of them to get a nice, snugger fit. And between those two slots is a slot for keys or I should say key because it's really a narrow thin slot and you really don't want to be weighed down by a bunch of metal keys. So I would just keep the key that I use to obviously take me back to where I'm from and I would have my phone in there and also my earphones. Of course you can also listen to them via wirelessly if you don't want the hassle of having wires strung down through into the case, but I do tend to like wear the Apple EarPods since they allow me to listen to my surroundings when I'm running. The conductive piece of plastic that goes over the screen of your phone, it it gets the job done. It's not great. I wouldn't use this for anything like multi-touch. When I was using it with Google Maps, it wasn't that responsive, but using it just with one finger, you're perfectly fine. It's perfectly adequate for scrolling through music and playing, pausing, etc. Now if you haven't noticed already, I don't have an iPhone 6 or 6S, which is what this specific armband was designed for. Instead, I have an iPhone SE with a case on, and it fits just fine. So obviously the iPhone SE has a smaller but thicker body, and since I have a case that adds additional bulk, so I would want to give you a, a kind of dimension for a phone that would fit this, but I can't really because it really depends on how big it is the screen size and also how thick it is and whether you have a case on there but from what I have here I don't have a super bulky case it's kind of a typical case and it's on a smaller body obviously and it fits pretty snug there is maybe slight room but it's I think it's a pretty good fit so I would say if your phone is has the footprint and the thinness of an iPhone 6 or 6s this should do the fine and if you have a slightly smaller phone but thicker with a case on it that also should be okay anything bigger though than an iphone 6 i don't think this would fit in terms of comfort i think they're probably average in terms of the sports band again this is my very first one but based on the price tag and what i've read from other people's reviews i think this is a pretty typical sports arm in that you can expect. It has a decent amount of padding and obviously to prevent it from sliding up and down you definitely do want it to be adjustable and have a good grip on your arm which it does. However I do think they could have designed the straps a little bit better because as you can see the sides are not the same width. I think if they were the same width it would be a lot more proportionally comfortable and I would rather have the widest side be a little closer to the phone itself and then slowly taper off as it goes away from the phone. I think that would help 
and stay a little bit more secure on your arm. Now I am reviewing this a little bit late, so at this time the price has dropped significantly. You can pick this up on Amazon for just around $5, so given that, I think these are definitely worth the price. It, you know, it could be designed better, but for the price, I think it's a pretty good value. I do like that it's serviceable for headphone jacks on either side of the phone, and it also is able to hold a key and even something else besides well, it says earphones, but you can hold something else also combined with this set. And it's reasonably comfortable for the runs that I've done. I don't use this for a marathon or anything like that, but for um, a typical mile to run, I think these are perfectly fine. So thanks for watching this video. Please give it a like if you liked this video and found it helpful. And please subscribe to my channel, Sky for Sign 5, for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.